It's definitely still a lot of questions this morning, yes, but as the crash forced Westnage to close down for several hours while all those various police agencies investigated what happened. Now that the scene is clear and quiet, Erica Francis joins us live with more on what witnesses say happened. What, what can you tell us? Well, good morning, Mike and Deanna. Just an absolutely tragic scene here last night, and now you can't even tell that hours ago, Nine people were hit while riding their bikes by a pickup truck. Five of them killed, four others injured. And like we've already been showing you, obviously this scene is quite different than what it was last night. Now I want to show you some footage from that night where there were Michigan State Troopers, sheriff, Sheriff's deputies, firefighters, and city and township police all working this scene. Now it's a fairly open and mostly residential here on this stretch of Westnage with the speed limit at 35 miles an hour. Now MSP is in charge of the accident reconstruction, but we haven't heard back on how fast the truck may have been traveling. We spoke to one witness who was almost hit by the same pickup truck that was reportedly driving erratically nearly a half hour before the deadly crash. Before I can tell the bikers to watch out, it was too late, and then I started hearing bikes hit the front of his truck, and then boom, and that's when I seen two, two bodies going there. I don't know if they landed on the ground or on top of his truck or not. I'm not sure. And that's just absolutely horrifying to hear. Now, there are already numerous businesses and organizations coming together and posting messages of their thoughts and prayers on social media. Now, coming up at 630, I will have a live interview with a woman who started a fund for the victims' families. For now, we're live in Kalamazoo County. Erica Francis, Fox 17 News.